Hey, good afternoon, YouTube. Jay Yurish here, checking on in with you. So, in the in, in the or continual saga of the 2006 Dodge Ram 2500 with the Cummins 48 RE transmission, um, <laughs> been sitting in the driveway for a month and literally has not moved. So, I took it out to go have lunch this afternoon, or this, yeah, this afternoon, and now it's got a new bag of tricks. Um, I don't know what the hell just let go in the transmission. <laughs> I haven't towed anything and I don't know how long with this. I think the last thing this thing towed was my RV. Um, so I'll do a quick start up here. E ignition. All right, see some, see some instrumentation here. Um, that's my rail pressure sitting at about, eh, let's just call it 69, 7,000, eh, six, somewhere between 65 and 7,000. You can't tell too much, but ignore the chip. Actually, I need to pull codes. Um, that would be my lift pump. That's from the gas tank up to the, up to the CP3. So now, I don't know if you can hear the idling. I'll just be quiet for a minute. When you put it into gear, let me do this. I'm going to roll down windows. Radio's turned off. Foot on the brake. And I put it into gear. No, you okay? I'm just get a shot here. I mean, engine lugs all the way down. My EGTs are climbing. RPM is five, five, six. Let's call it seven thousand. All right, I'm gonna go into neutral. Wow. I mean, it is lugs it down and starts black smoking. Now, mind you, you get that uh, flare up. My foot is still on the brake. I am not touching the accelerator. So this thing lugs down, starts pumping out black smoke. EGT start climbing up. Now, I'm not gonna say skyrocket. They go up to about 800. My RPM is still, let's see, if, let's see the ha big hash, let's call it 5, 000, 5, uh, 500 RPM, 600, 700. So I'm at 700. It drops ever so slightly. And it just freaking loads. See, put a cylinder brake. All right, YouTube. <laughs> I saw a single post about uh, maybe a possible broken or failed sprag in the transmission. Uh, the last place that had this built was here in McKinney, or I went through it after for a broken second gear band. Of all the years driving trucks, I've never broken a band. I don't know how the hell that would happen. Anyway, any advice would be appreciated. Uh, put it in the comments below. Uh, thanks. Bye.